Right, today we're going to do the Hyundai 1000 SI and some basic instructions on how to start it when you get it out of the box. When you receive your generator, you will get a few bits and bobs come with it. Obviously the generator itself, a bottle of 1540 engine oil, which you will need to add some, we should go through that in a moment. 12 volt leads for charging batteries which plug in the control panel, a spark plug spanner, a little bottle of fuel additive which preserves the fuel, a spare spark plug, a caravan adapter lead which will allow you to hook up to your 16 amp lead that you would hook up to on a caravan site, a large instruction manual with everything you need to know, an oil removal tube, we shall go through that later on how to change the oil in your generator, and a screwdriver. Right, I shall come around the other side and show you where to start. This is the side cover that needs to be removed to fit the engine oil into the engine using the screwdriver supplied. Right, so we just undo the two screws. And we'll put that to one side for a moment. Right, first of all the oil filler plug is here. Um, it's good practice typically to tip it back a little bit and it's just easier to get to to unscrew. So if you unscrew the oil filler plug and put it to one side you will see directly into the engine chamber. The oil level would be basically right up to the top of these threads so that you can't get any more oil in without it spilling back out of this little lip here as you can see. Here we have the oil, I won't open some of this, but this is the 1540 oil. 1030 oil would do just as well. So I shall commence filling it. It's always useful to tip the machine back while you fill it in through the filler hole. There is a jug with a spout that comes with the machine as well. But rather than dirty a new jug, I'm just using my everyday jug. I'm basically pouring oil into the engine. Trying gently not to spill any. And I'm going to check the oil level. Well, that's absolutely perfect. I can see that when I put it down level, it would be just about to come out. And replace the plug. The next job would be to put in some fuel. Fuel filler flap. <coughs> and remove the filler cap. For safety purposes, I would recommend that you do this in a well-ventilated well area and outside, uh, preferably. Um, but for the purposes of this demonstration, I'll do it inside. We can just get some fresh, unleaded fuel. No additives, no anything. If you do wish to use the fuel preservative that comes with the machine, the quantity in this bottle is enough for 10 litres of fuel. Um, but I don't need it as I've got fresh fuel here and I'm going to be using it pretty quickly. I won't put a huge amount of fuel in the machine. Replace the filler cap and close the flap. Right, looking at the control panel, you'll see there are two switches. There's an efficiency mode switch and a stop and run switch. Um, fairly obvious really, it needs to be run in position run and that will allow it to start. The efficiency mode switch it doesn't really matter which way it is, but I tend to, as a force of habit, put it on. Right, so I'll turn the machine back to you. Right, here's the fuel tap on the machine. That would be the off position, horizontally, or vertically pointing downwards is on. But the label is pretty much self-explanatory. The next job is to check the choke. Now, as you will see on the cover, the on position is to the right. The choke is here, I'll just show you. The on position is to the right, and the off position is to the left. So for starting the machine, we need the choke on to the right to start the machine. Right, because this machine has never had any petrol in it before, um, I need to pump the fuel through. Now it does have an inbuilt fuel pump, but I'll need to manually pump it through using the pull start. Right, probably 10 to 15 pulls, just on initial starting, but after that it will be about 3 pulls. fuel coming through. That is now the fuel filter full, but I now need to fill the float chamber of the carburetor. So maybe four or five pulls. 